Hey guys, it's Melbourne Chippy Chick here. I just wanted to do a little video and just um, check in with all of you guys and explain to you guys what I'm doing, who I am and things like that. So I'll just start off with um, a little intro. So my name is Steph. I'm a fully qualified carpenter. I started doing my apprenticeship when I was 23. Um, I fully qualified two years ago. So I've been doing this for well, six and a half years now. Um, I work with my father and we own our own building company. Um, I won Diploma Student of the Year after I uh, threw Master Builders Victoria. From there, I kind of knew what I wanted to do. I wanted to be the face of female tradies in Australia. And um, I had that goal and I wanted to let everyone know that we can do this. And if you want to do a trade or get into an industry that's not female dominated, that you can still do this and push forward and reach your goals. Um, from there, I I just was working away and my husband said to me, why don't you start an Instagram page? So I started one. It just blew up. I think it blew up because um, I've got a great personality. I'm confident. Um, I stand up for a lot of women. Um, I am a carpenter. I do something that's out of ordinary. Um, people ask me how I get um, the followers and do this stuff. I just be myself. I push myself to my limits. I don't sleep. I don't sit around. I don't relax. I'm constantly pushing myself, trying to evolve, trying to just inspire people, encourage everyone. I love everybody and I just want to be the best I can be for myself and for everyone else. Um, to get a, To get to the point, pretty much I just wanted to explain the Trady Lady Club a little bit to you guys. So what happened was when I first started Instagram, I met a few girls. Um, there was Jodzi, there was Lazi, there was um, Holly, there was, oh, there was a few others. There was about 10, 15 of us and we just had a little chat going on. And as we met new girls, we just added them to the chat. And we're just like, I said we should uh, call us a name. We should make up a name for this little club. And um, we did, and we were just thinking, Lady Tradies, I was looking on the internet, seeing what's available to call ourselves um, that wasn't taken by someone else. So we came up with the TLC, which was Tradie Lady Club, and from there, um, I was like, look, we've got to get our stickers made, we've got to get our t-shirts made, started doing all that. Um, I had a really awesome guy, Ben, from National Signage and Print, help me out, and we designed a whole thing. Um, we got all the printed. Um, we had a little association with bad workwear, which was um, kind of went in the, the wrong direction because it wasn't really what I was looking for, having a company represent us in that sense. So from there, I went off on my own and I got my own t-shirts, um, got them all printed, and just it just spread from there. So pretty much what we are is a group of qualified tradeswomen that we've pretty much created a community that these girls here that they never knew that there was trade female trades around them or in the world I have never in my whole four or five years of working literally till about a year ago never met a female tradie before never spoke to one never encountered never came across one never it was literally just me and I feel that all of these women were going through that I'm gonna cry. We're going through that situation through their whole apprenticeship and it's so important to have somebody that you can reflect on, talk to, ask questions um, and just know that there's all of us there that are experiencing the same thing and there's all of us there that we have each other to bounce off and when we meet up, oh my gosh, it's like another level of excitement. It's just this connection that we all have like we're sisters and there's no beef there's no nothing we're just connected and it's just an amazing feeling and we just love each other it's like instant love we just fall in love with each other we all chat on Facebook we all chat on Instagram we've all connected to each other and we've all connected massive amounts of friends like all my friends all their friends we're all just massive anyway get into the point Trady Lady Club was created and that's what it is. Um, pretty much got club merch, got t-shirts, hoodies, I had little caps made, stickers for your car. Um, 
went on the net, just typed it up, got some fonts I liked and just created a logo, which was awesome. Anyway, um, that's pretty much what's happened. Um, I'm in association with Sydney Tools, so Sydney Tools are stock, stock my clothing in some of their stores. So um, they like loved what I did. They're like, Steph, we want you on board. We, we love your Melbourne Chippy Chick. We love your TLC. We want to support you. And I'm like, that's amazing. Like, having doing this all myself, I wouldn't have been able to grow if it was just me. Me being a Chippy full time, I don't get like the best wages, you know. But having Sydney Tools go, hey, Steph, we want to do a barbecue for you. We want to do this and we want to stock your stuff. It's just like... Thank you, you know. It's amazing the stuff that people want to do. Then the girls, when we meet up, it's just amazing. And from there, this is where I am at the moment. Um, there's been a little bit of an issue with the logo, which I'm sure a few of you have seen on my page. I'm um, sorting through that out at the moment. And I just want to keep pushing. I just want to keep going. I want to talk to girls. I want to spread the love. I want to just empower people. I want to tell them that you can do whatever you want to do. You don't need to look like anything. You don't need to sound like anything. You don't need to dumb yourself down. You don't need to do anything to do what you want to do. If you want to do something, you do it. End of story. We, as humans, are born into a shell. And we don't have any options. What colour eyes, what colour hair, what our bum looks like, what our boobs look like. No one, No one has a choice of this. Unless you want to enhance them, whatever. But what I'm trying to say is that if you're a really, really pretty girl and you want to be a carpenter, it shouldn't deter you. And people judge you. Yeah, oh, you shouldn't be doing this job. Oh, you should be in the kitchen. Oh, you should wear high heels and you should be in an office. You know what? No, we don't have to do that. We don't have to do anything. If I want to do something, if I want to roll around in dirt and if I want to climb on dirt, houses and climbing roofs and I'm going to sweat and I should be able to do whatever I want to do and that's the message I want to send out to anyone and everyone and husbands and wives and everyone families fathers grandparents there there's so many people that are stubborn in this industry and that just think that we shouldn't be doing it but you know what we are we're doing it we are doing it we've been doing it before me, before 10 years, there's women that have been builders for 30, 40 years. There's, there's women that have been in the trade, grandmothers. People show me pictures of their grandmothers. Like, we can do this. And this is a time where the movement's happening. All these brands are waking up saying, oh, there's a lot of you. Yeah, there are a lot of us. Yeah, make us some clothes. Because, yes, we've been wearing male clothes for the last what seven eight years of my my life is in the construction industry imagine the girls before that at least the boys pants are getting a bit more stylish that we can squeeze into but what i'm trying to do is make a movement and it's working it's really working and we're all coming together and the support that we're throwing at each other it's just bouncing and i don't want to be big for me I really don't sit there and be like, I'm Melbourne and Chippy Chick, I've got a hundred thousand, like, I don't give a, f I don't care about that. All I care about is the smiles on people's faces when I can give them something that they've wanted or give something to somebody that I can just say, you need that? Freaking, let's do it. Because we can. We can do it together and this is what I want to do. This is what I want to do. I want to go to schools. I want to talk to kids. I want to tell them that you can do this. I want to go to primary schools and I want young kids from the age of five, as soon as they start primary school, to have that option. You can do what you want. All right. We're having the no gender thing happening at the moment. Why can't we be carpenters? Why can't we be electricians? Why can't we be plumbers? Why can't we be anything? Ooh, this gets me frustrated, but I'm so passionate about this. Your support, the support that I'm getting from you guys, from Instagram, from from Facebook, just from everyone, family, everyone. It's just magical. And the thing is, I don't need to do too much. Like, I just be yourself, really. I'm just being myself and trying to get places, trying to get people places trying to make a movement 
and I just really want to say thank you to all of you guys because I've been wanting to do this stuff since I was young. I've been wanting to change and, and be empowering, but without you guys, without the followers and without a bit of oomph behind me, I haven't been able to do it. But now I can. I can do it. And you guys are feeding me love, feeding me, you know, as soon as I get down a bit, you guys like, get on it. You guys are killing it. The Trader Lady Club's killing it. And that's what I want. I want us to be as one. I want us to be supporting each other. We are human at the end of the day and we all need to be here for each other. Imagine the world just ended tomorrow and you could turn to your neighbour and be like, I need your help. How many of you guys don't even talk to your neighbours? I know a lot of you that don't talk to your neighbours or can't stand your neighbours. But we're all here together and we all need to get along. And we all need to love and respect each other and not go in and attack each other. Yeah, we're females. Yeah, we're not physically stronger than you guys. Whatever. But give us a break. Some of us are stronger than you. Trust me, I've seen some very strong women. And I've seen some very weak men. So it's not about men or women. It's about your brain. It's about your heart. It's about your passion. And this is a word that needs to be spread globally. Not just in Australia and New Zealand. Globally. This needs to go to people... And you need to get it in your freaking head, yeah? Everyone needs to learn that we can do it and we're doing it and we've been doing it. So now that I've got a bit of a voice, go girls!